This is the third annual Wonder Woman Tech, and I'm so glad that I have the opportunity to be here and interviewing magnanimous and fantastic women. And I'm going to have you introduce yourself to Conversations with Christina as well as your audience. Hi, Christina. This is Embrace Everson coming to you live from sunny Long Beach, California. Yeah, I, I am the author of Absolutely. The Babes Guide to Women in the Workplace. You don't have to compromise. Yes. Tell us who babes are. Babes are beautiful, ambitious, brilliant entrepreneurs. Wonderful, wonderful, Which wonderful. For all of you out there listening. Exactly. All of us are wonderful entrepreneurs. And today we have the opportunity to talk about how you win. And we have her book, which is fantastic. It is Winning. The Babe's Guide to Winning in the Workplace. You don't have to compromise. Right. And that big, that last piece is you don't have to compromise. I think that that's something that women struggle with so often in the workplace is the compromising factor. Being in technology, and we are at a technology event, yes. It has been reported that there are so many egregious acts that happen on, in the workplace that women don't even report because number one, we're underrepresented. Number two, I don't know about you, but I am a woman of color and sometimes women of color, it's just hard for us to even ascend. So we don't even, when things happen to us, we don't even want to talk about that. So does your book address it? Not only that, not only to being afraid to ascend, but unfortunately, there's very few places where an African American woman of color can go and show that she's been violated and she's been harmed and that she's believed. The credibility factor is often lacking. So sometimes you have women who are, you know, European women and they say, oh, you know, I, I work for Fox and I was harassed by Bill O'Reilly. I need a lawsuit. And there's an audience, there's a platform for their pain. But oftentimes we don't find as African American women that we're valued enough in this society that there's even a platform for our pain. Wow, wow. And that's serious. Because there's so many acts, again, that go unreported, number one, that happen the exact way that you said, and there's nowhere to turn. So even if we tried to report it, one of the other things that I noticed here is she is an Esquire. She didn't put lawyer, guys. She put Esquire. And that lends a whole different perspective, doesn't it? Absolutely. So the book actually helps women, from an attorney's point of view, go through step by step what you need to do in the event that you are targeted by sexual harassment, bullying, discrimination. What are your rights? Because most of the time, we're in the workplace and no one tells us what our rights are. If we go to HR, they're not our advocate. They don't work for us or on our behalf. So this manual is from the attorney's point of view of what you need to know and how you can win and move your pieces on the chessboard, what you should do to prepare. If you have to prepare for litigation, what documents do you need to begin to uh, accumulate? What facts about your life, how you change? What do you need to write down about how you're feeling? All of that matters, all of that comes into play when you're pursuing litigation or if you have a claim. So these are the steps that you need to take. I think that that's incredible because having been in human resources for several years, I know that I did not represent the staff. I represented the company. My whole job was to make sure that the company was protected, not the employees. So I really appreciate you today. I thank you so very much for giving me some time. I hope you all in conversations with Christina Land enjoyed meeting this fabulous babe. Thank you. Make sure that you go out and get it. Where can they get it? Amazon. Uh, it's available on Amazon Babes in the Workplace. You don't have to compromise and at www.babesintheworkplace.com.